We're living in a digital world now more than ever, which is why it's important to adapt with the time. So if you're seeking a job or a small business looking for guidance, Catherine's your girl. Catherine Williams is a Google tool expert and knows the ins and outs of Googling. Welcome to the show, Catherine. Thank you so much for having me. Well, tell us about the tools Google has for job seekers. Yeah, thank you so much again uh, for having me on. Um, so what Google does is actually, if you go to search and you type in what you're looking for in a job, we have a specialized job search tool that aggregates uh, listings from across the web so that we're making sure to um, uptick all the, the relevant and uh, recent job search postings in your area. Do you have any insight on what jobs uh, are hiring right now, what jobs are open? That definitely varies. So something that we've been sure to do um, as the demand for employment has risen is make sure that we're putting things that have been recently posted right at the top of the listing. Uh, another thing that we've done as part of our Grow With Google initiative is say you're not ready to necessarily apply to jobs, you're not sure what you're looking for, we have resources if you wanna take a step back, learn how to reformat your resume for a digital age. Uh, if you're looking to write a cover letter that's going to be super effective, we have a bunch of free tips and tricks um, that um, are hosted on our Grow with Google website for job seekers. Yeah, a lot of people could use some of those tips right now. What are uh, these Google career certificates that you talk about? Last week, we actually launched three new Google career certificates that are hosted online at Coursera, Coursera so you don't have to do them in person and they take three to six months to complete. They're designed so that if you're a caregiver or if you have a job currently, you're able to fit them in for your schedule. And after you complete these certificates, um, you get an, a link that's easy to attach to your resume. And Google is actually going to consider them as the equivalent to a four-year degree if you apply to a position in one of these fields at Google. And um, we're hosting 100,000 need-based scholarships to help people across the country take these courses. Wow, so one of those certificates may be the equivalent of a degree on your resume. That's, that's really interesting to know. How can Google help some small businesses that may be hurting right now? We know that right now it's essential for small businesses, especially ones that might not be very digitally savvy to connect with their customers and to constantly update them on their state of affairs. So um, through Google My Business, which is a free um, uh, listing for your business, which if you type in your favorite coffee shop or a restaurant, it's that panel that you see on the right-hand side of search that gives you their hours, any updates they might have. And what we've done is we've tweaked it so you'll see some COVID information if you're, if you're searching for hours. You'll be able to see if a restaurant is doing curbside pickup. Um, if an electronic store is able to do contactless delivery. So we're trying to make it as easy as possible for, um, for small business owners to be able to update their information. I know exactly what you're talking about because when I'm you know, trying to get information on a business or a service, I'm looking at that information and I'm wondering, are they really open? What, what are the really um, you know, hours right now? Is that, is that correct? So I guess it's pretty important for small businesses to really stay on top of that, making sure that that information is up to date when it comes to their website, social media, correct? Absolutely. Um, and to your point, something that you can actually do to help your local businesses or places that you frequent have the most up-to-date information is leave a review on Google Maps. So say someone is doing a really great job at takeout, um, you can just hop on and for free leave a review, um, letting um, everyone else who's going to visit that, that website or that list um, that, uh, that it's all up to date. All right, and do you have any specific tools that can help startup companies? Yes, we absolutely do. So Google for Startups actually has a variety of resources that can help companies that um, might have to be managing their business remotely for the first time. Startups are built on collaboration. So we've actually made Google Meet, which is a free video conferencing line, uh, free for um, uh, most businesses. So you'll notice that even if you're a small startup, you don't have um, necessarily the resources of a larger company, you can still meet face to face with the people that you're working with. Uh, we also have some ad credits available um, if you're 
looking to get um, in the ads game, as well as Google Cloud credits to make sure that you're staying on the cutting edge of the latest technology. And finally, you know, a lot of us do want to support local businesses, put some money back into the economy. Any other tips on how we can help out the community? It's super useful, even if your favorite restaurant isn't open right now. Um, I would say that buying a gift card, so when they do eventually reopen, making sure that they have revenue coming in. Or like we mentioned, something that's completely free that you can do to help is, is leave a review so folks understand and know and can see that. A day ago, someone said that this business is doing a really great job um, providing service for their customers during this really tough time. So true. I do that. I look for at the date. How recent was that review left? Thanks so much for joining us, Catherine. Great information. And for more information on finding a job or some small business help, visit grow.google.